So um, I wanted one since um, I had some friends in high school who also had an 8.6. Uh, loved the chassis, loved how it looked. Um, I wasn't very concerned about going fast. So I wanted to get this car so I can express myself and actually try to be unique in a, a car community that's very saturated and everything has been done to it already. So I wanted to get some freedom with that. Um, I found a great deal in San Francisco. I drove up with my dad and I came back in one day. Bought the car for 15 grand out the door and it's, the build just started. I bought this car with the intention of completely gutting it. Um, this entire front fascia has been lifted to something else uh, I don't think anyone has ever seen before. Uh, to get started, I think the most attention grabbing thing is my Noblesse bumper. A match with the Viz Racing uh, carbon fiber hood and pinky fenders straight from Long Beach. I uh, find them at underscore pinky underscore eight six underscore. And then I had custom uh, arrow made by HMC Body Works, one of my sponsors for the build. They've been helping me with all my body work and as well as my aerodynamics. So if you guys need anything like that, custom made or not, let them know. They'll take care of you. Full chassis mounted and it is made of full aluminum. Um, coming back on the side, we have Rowan side skirts. And they've been paint matched to two tones. Um, the reason why I like these is because they had the vent right here. And it's just a, a little nice touch that I can add without going wide body. Um, I guess since with the windows down, we can look inside. This is one of the newer things I added. It is the Pro Alpha X Brom seats, matched with an NRG carbon fiber steering wheel. Um, and then I also had all my lights um, changed to purple, one of my favorite colors. And then we can look towards the back. Um, we have my rear diffuser, the newest thing that I've added. Uh, designed it myself. Again, h and Body Works helping my dreams come true with uh, how I designed it and then they also made it full aluminum and bolts it on to perfection. And then back here we have my Valenti headlights, pretty common on the 8.6 platform and they look timeless, I would say. And then right here, my car was a 2015, so this is actually a 2017 wing um, paired with the Drembini uh, wing risers. These are no longer in stock, I believe, but I think there's still some floating around on the aftermarket. And then for my exhaust system, I'm running an NVIDIA R400 with JDL front pipe and headers. I went with the Cadet just because I don't want to really uh, mess with the feds too much, but so far I love the sound and the quality of it, and I have no complaints. And then we look at my wheels here. They are, they've been in better shape, but these are from BC Forge RZ05s. I'm running a 255 35 tire with an 18 diameter and 9.5 uh, width. And I think that I've only gotten this off of recommendation. It's been a very aggressive looking um, sizing. And I know it's pretty common, but again, I can't really complain. It's my build, I love how it looks. Um, and then I guess for the last thing that you see on the outside would be my big brake kit right here. This is a Woolwood big brake kit I got from um, Mo Supra. He was helping me get a great deal on them. I got these installed, powder coated them to purple to match the rest of the car. And again, it's like I'm only waiting to match it with the back. Oh, and then the last thing, the only thing that lights up the car, uh, my headlights. I'm actually looking to get these redone in due time but these are made by Circuit Demon um, with the base off of Spec D tuning. So I got their lights, sent them to New York where Circuit Demon is located. Um, and then I told them what I wanted and they came back with me um, in these great looking lights. And then for my suspension, I'm running uh, Fortune Auto's air piston lift system. I decided to go with those just because I want to be in the low life but I also want to preserve everything that I can with the car. So as well as getting the chassis splitter where if I run into anything, I would protect the car. I also wanted to be sure that I don't damage my undercarriage when going over bumps and stuff. So I chose the, pit, the piston lift system over just regular bags just because I have heard um, it's better for daily driving and you don't get that wobbly feeling after you hit every single dip or bump that you get. I got a Varus rear bumper that's coming in. Um, People are getting mad about this, but I'm actually going to look to chop it up and then try to make a custom diffuser that will match with it. Um, Varus is very expensive, I know, but again, the build is for me. 
Uh, I wanted it to be unique in the ACS community and do things that I think can be done. I'm not completely sure, but we're going to try to make it work. Um, in ter aside from that, we're going to go with more carbon fiber accents since the car is white, purple, and carbon fiber. Um, I'm also looking to pair with uh, limit limitless retrofits to get a new set of headlights done, stage 3, fully custom. Um, but that's something that I can't really talk about completely since I don't, we haven't really planned it yet. Um, but aside from that, in terms of power, we're looking at a Harrop supercharger that I plan to get in the future. It, probably a built engine when I get real money, but um, it's all in the air. Uh, it's all in the air. Uh, I can say that it's something that I definitely do want in the future. But who knows what I'm going to do next. Um, I think for now, we're just going to go with more aesthetics. Uh, get that car show feeling or the vibes going. Make sure I fit just right in with uh, Team Elevate. Um, super excited for what comes next and I'm sure that you guys will be too. I try to keep it short with you guys, but um, at least for myself, I'm going to the tune shop tomorrow to get this thing going. We're going to add probably stage 2 tune for my flex fuel and my full exhaust system. So we're going to get more oxygen flow, some more com combustion with E85, and it looks like I'm going to be having a much more of a fun time when I get into it. Keep the drip on this man. <laughs> Keep the drip on this man. <laughs> It's squirt water in my face, bro. <laughs>